son Trevor's second Halloween. Maybe next year you'll know something's actually happened. <laughs> Here. Cheers. Mm. Oh. <laughs> you know, you look nice with that mustache. Mm. Well, you look lovely in diamonds. You like that? Oh, yeah, I like it. Come here. Mm. Wasn't Trevor the cutest little devil ever? Cutest. Cutest. It's like his father. Father like son. Well, luckily, he fell asleep like an angel. Mm-hmm. Gotta say, this is one of my favorite Halloweens, and that's that's saying a lot considering the whole Martin tradition of the Hallow's Eve parties. Mm, I remember the parties Tad used to throw. You remember? Well, don't give him all the credit, because my father. Did I ever tell you the story? My father used to sit on the on the porch, right, like uh, like a scarecrow, stiff like this. And when the little buggers would show up, he'd be like. Ah! <laughs> he would scare the big out of them. I scared them to death. Oh, it's great, but my, my, my mother used to always say, it doesn't matter, don't worry about it, because if anybody has a heart attack, he'll take care of it. <laughs> I guess it's up to me now, so. To cause heart attacks? No, just to keep keep a tradition going for our son. Mm, I still can't get the hang of Grandma Kate's coffee cake. You're not a grandma, so I wouldn't worry about it. You know what, I think our job is just to make sure that, that Trevor has great memories, great stories, like great Halloween stories, great Thanksgiving stories, great Christmas stories, things like that. So you can look back with laughter, you know, and just remember how much we loved. We are so lucky. Very lucky. You're putting red hots on your burger? Well, I don't have any hot sauce, so... You are so weird. No, I'm not. You know, you know what weird is? My brother puts chocolate bars in his cornflakes. That's weird. This is delicious. Want one bite? No, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're changing your mind. Yeah. No, no, I... I just... I saw Annie trick-or-treating with Emma. Uh, what's she got? As a witch? No, Medusa. Medusa with all the snakes nice. coming out of your head. Didn't look her in the eye, did you? Because she'll turn you to stone. She's you having, saw what you did to Scott. She's having a tough time. Well, really? Did she bring that on herself, I wonder? You know, it wasn't long ago. She was a, a happy newlywed in love and, and just all went to hell. You know what hell was? Hell was having that newlywed dinner you made us go to. That was hell. Yeah, that was awkward. Can you stop? She was nervous. Annie just wanted us to like her. Annie has a way of wanting things that she just can't have. And so she blows things up on the way to trying to get there. Well, it doesn't mean people can't change. I did. You did. You don't have a mustache anymore. You know, if you hadn't come back from Africa when you did, if I hadn't fallen madly, deeply in love with you, before you, I was making all the wrong choices. And you showed me love and hope and a better life than I could have even dreamed of. So if it weren't for you, I'd probably be just as lost as Annie is. When you first came back to Pine Valley, those eyes and that sexy, scruffy bed head thing you got going on. <laughs> I really had to... I really had to milk my neck injury so you'd examine me. First of all, I knew you were faking it. You did not. I absolutely did. A guy knows these things. Well, then you should know I haven't had to fake anything since. Anyway, well, I would hope not. Let me ask you something. You still got that pirate outfit? Of course. Hmm. You still got the parrot? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, maybe we should go home and play with Polly. Showing up at the hospital with my sore neck. And you were so normal. Thank you. It means so much to me. <laughs> so nice to you. No, come on. I mean, I mean, here you were, this hot, brave doctor saving lives all over the world, and you just acted like it was no big deal. Because that's what Doctors Without Borders is. You just, you know, you leave your ego at the door. Hot and modest. All all the women must have been swooning over you. No, no. Oh, come on. At least one. Your ex-wife, Carolyn, the doctor. Come on, you never even tell me anything about her. That's it, because it was a lifetime ago. You know, it was a, a different time and different world. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, the hospital? Yeah. I knew this would happen. They're short-staffed at the ER, so I'm gonna... Um. I'll tell you what. I'll see you at home. All right, well, Polly and I will be waiting. Yeah. <laughs> I'll hurry. <laughs> That's really sexy, babe. I won't do that again. <laughs> so I'm waiting for a call. Hi. Oh, hey. You want company? Actually, you know what? I could use some help finishing this. Ooh. I might order up the second round, actually. Well, you're in good mood. Just your basic uh, Halloween sugar high. Part of your costume? Hmm. Jake's. <laughs> well, I'm feeling like a princess today. Actually, more like a good fairy. It looks good on you. Oh, well, thank you. Good fairy, huh? Mm-hmm. Did you make someone's wish come true? I did. Well, come on, you can't stop there. Who was it? What was the wish? Can you keep a secret? Sure. Me. Annie Novak McDermott, Lee Lee Chandler Chandler, performed a completely unselfish act. And not without significant personal risk. Really? Yeah. Amazing, right? Shocking. To be honest with you, though, it actually feels really, really good. Well, so what did you do? Let's just say I helped JR be able to spend some quality Halloween time with the son. But Marissa has custody of AJ. She won't let him anywhere near JR. Exactly. <laughs> and thanks to me, AJ is with JR right now at the mansion and will probably be able to stay there. So you, you didn't do anything illegal, did you? I ran interference, covered for JR on some sticky details, tied it in a bow, and voila, thank you, me. But you said it was risky. Have you ever had Marissa screaming at you, calling you names, doing that whole I'm so better than you act that she does? Well, I did not let it get to me. I just did what I had to do, and I got out of there. Well, everyone knows that Marissa and Jay are at war over AJ. And obviously, you are not her favorite person. Why would you even put yourself in that position? I, I know what it's like to have someone tell you that you can't see your child. And Jay loves AJ so much, and I, I, I saw... A way that I could help, so I helped. Well, I hope you're not looking for his eternal gratitude because it's not really the kind of guy he is. That's not why I did it. Wait, is it because... Are you guys together? No, what? No. <laughs> no, it's, it's really not like that. Because you and JR... We combust. Whatever is between us, it makes everybody miserable around us. So, what you're saying is... You love him. Do I really 